Hello friends, in this video we will see how to print a simple message on screen using C program. So let's start. So let's say we want to print this simple message hello world on the screen. So for this particular purpose, we'll use the inbuilt function of C. The name of the function is printf. Okay. And since the C is C, uh, case sensitive language, we need to write down printf like this, not like this. Okay. If you write like this then you will get an error the message so after writing down the name of the function we need to pass the argument here argument is nothing but the string which we want to print so we'll write down the string in this round bracket okay in double quotes so the string is hello world okay and then uh, we'll complete this particular round bracket and then we will put semicolon to denote that this particular statement is completed and in order to distinguish between what is supposed to be print right this part and the name of the function right we put this round brackets okay so that the compiler can distinguish between uh, function name and arguments okay but this only this statement is not sufficient to uh, get our desired output since c is procedure oriented language uh, we what instructions which we write in C program are divided into small units and this small units are known as nothing but functions right and by default whatever uh, program we write irrespective of its objective we must mention at least one function in our C program right so at least one function is mandatory right and the name of that particular function is main right so we must write down this particular main function okay so before i talk more about main function let's talk about mathematical functions so let's say i want to add two numbers for that let's say i have one function add then uh, just this function name is not sufficient i must also tell which type of inputs will be taken by this particular uh, function so let's say i want to add two integers like this 5 comma 3 then I, I i need to mention this right and finally after addition i am i am sure that the final answer will be 8 right so similarly here whenever i am defining any function i must also mention about arguments whether i am passing any data to this particular function or not so for with respect to mean function we are not going to pass any data so we won't write anything inside this particular round brackets okay now the next thing is here i'm sure that after adding 5 and 3 i will get this particular number as answer 8 it may possible that depending upon my implementation i may get answer like this 8.0 mathematically both of them are same but if we talk in terms of c programming then they are different because this is integer number and this is real number and the space required in uh, computer to store these two numbers will be different so in other words we, we should be sure whenever we are defining any function uh, which type of values will we will get at the end of execution of that particular function that is nothing but return type of the function right this return type is important because because this particular because of this particular reason right you know memory right so here again with respect to our main function uh, we, we, we don't want to return anything so that means we won't return anything so therefore we will write down void we are not passing any data so therefore we don't expect anything in data so therefore we write down void here okay now we'll put this opening bracket and closing bracket and we'll write down our purpose or our uh, instruction which we have just mentioned here right printf in double quotation hello world right and then semicolon so whatever we write within this particular main function main function must end with semicolon right and we don't need to mention semicolon here after uh, after this particular main function or even after closing uh, this particular last closing bracket okay so now now we will see the actual program so I will I have written the same program here as you can see right void main printf hello world 
semicolon is there and apart from this particular program I have also included these two files right the, these two files are nothing but header files the first one is standard input output header file the second one is console input output header file right so depending upon which compiler you are using uh, this header files are required because the definition of this printf it may be possible that definition of this particular functions are uh, in uh, defined in this library so therefore it's required to include them okay fine so now the program is ready so uh, then very first step we will do is to save it right so save this particular program and then what we can do first we will uh, compile it and then we will run it right so as you can see the message is here on the screen hello world now what we can do we can let's say i want to print hello on on the very first line and i want to print the second word on the second line word so for that the command is slash n so using slash n slash n stands for new line so let's see what will happen if we do like this so as you can see now hello is on the first line and the word is on the second line one more uh, thing which you can do is instead of slash n you can write down slash t so slash t stands for tab right so now as as you can see the space between hello and word is increased okay thank you subscribe to my channel for more videos